Okay, today's topic is gonna be barefoot training. I'm gonna start by telling you what you wanna hear. Yes, it's generally better for you. Yes, I think you should train barefoot at some point, okay? Should it be the main, the main thing that you do? Well, no, okay? Can you run a marathon in, a, in two hours or PR your marathon time with barefoot shoes? Probably not, okay? Our science has advanced us to the certain point. We don't have to regress from science to understand what works and what doesn't. General population or your day-to-day -day training, if you're not jumping or if you're not lifting weights that are falling into the ground, I 100% recommend that if you can, train barefoot most of the time. You don't have to necessarily buy a barefoot shoe and be barefoot the whole time. Um, I don't think you have to do that. Or if you're gonna be barefoot, be barefoot. You don't have to feed into the marketing and feed into buying a certain type of shoe just because Instagram posted 100,000 pictures of that shoe. It's better to walk barefoot than to feed into the marketing of buying a barefoot shoe. In other times, just wear a regular shoe. Vans are a good option. Yes, there's cl they're closed toe. I understand. Um, and yes, that can have certain detriments into your training, but I've met pretty strong people that have lifted in Chuck Taylors before. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's look at the science, look what it really is, take it objectively and with a grain of salt, let's try to understand that yes, it's generally better for you, but it's not gonna be such a huge marker on performance that it has to become a staple in your training. Biggest weightlifters in the world, they don't lift barefoot, they wear weightlifting shoes. The best runners in the world, they don't lift, um, they don't run barefoot, they run with very expensive running shoes. The best uh, soccer players, basketball players, football players, they all have a specific shoe for their brand or for their, for their sport, sorry, okay? They're usually closed toes, their feet are all tied up, there's injuries, but there's injuries doing anything. So understand that training barefoot is generally a good option, but it doesn't mean that you have to go buy a barefoot shoe or it doesn't mean that it has to be something that you 100% have to do or your training doesn't matter.